Hello. Now, now I'm actually right side up. Um, so I am going to um be talking about Alice in Wonderland, um the audiobook. Um, and I listened to this here on my iPad, which you know I have recorded tons of videos for you guys. Um, but what I really liked about this Liverbox recording. Um, is it's really interesting uh, how Alice travels, kind of, um, it's, it's a story about, again, about imagination. Um, we have Alice going to sleep in the beginning of the book, and she gets dropped into this world, um, where weird things happen. My favorite character is, in fact, the Mock Turtle. I don't know why he's my favorite character, but he really is. Um, he's very interesting. He sings a poem at the end. It's really whimsical and fun. And some of this stuff doesn't even make sense. It just rhymes. And I guess Lewis Carroll was the one for um, doing fake words and stuff, which I thought was really interesting. Like, it brought some concept to this um, character, and I really liked it. Um, I also really liked, um, the, um, I guess the animated type of, um, or an animated type of, um, thing, I don't, no, not an animated, but they did do the animated Disney movie, which I think I have, I'm not sure though, because I have all my VHSs hiding from my DVDs, because I have so many DVDs! Okay, anyway. So, um, Alice in Wonderland is a really fascinating story. I really like it, and I really like the characters of, um, I, as I said, the Mock Turtle, which is not, in fact, in the Wizard of Oz Disney movie, or in that many adaptions of, um, Alice in Wonderland, since there's so many adaptions, but I love the story about how she kind of dreams this world. I mean, it's really a fascinating story. It's actually whimsical. It's, like, not, not meant to make sense. So when you think, like, it flows into the other chapter. It's, it's not like a normal chapter, like, let's say, oh, little women, little women kind of have has the ending they have like well I do believe the world is coming to an end that's the end of the book or the end of the, the um, thing or they have get along you fright you know it it really is interesting because it doesn't really end the chapter doesn't end um but What's re that's what's really interesting about it is that the chapter does not end. Um, also, I am going to get two books and three books in the mail. I will be showing them to you, but I'm going to just tell you about it. Um, and Dressed in Blood, I'm going to get that one. No Mercy, which is a Dark Hunter series from the Dark Hunter series. Nobody's Princess, which is supposed to be really good. So, I'm going to get those three in the mail. I have actually bought those three. One is signed. I think nobody's princess is signed. I will um, show that to you. And then I'm also getting a noble spirit, which I have been a winner on good reads, and I'm so excited for it. Um, so, if you have read any of these books, please tell me if you like them or what, what you like about them. Not really, like, too, giving too much away. Um, I think that's it about that. Um, I am not finished with um, the book I'm reading, which I don't know. If you know. Oh, I put it right here. But uh, I'm not really finished with it. But on Friday... I am going to do a chapter um, review or a preview or something where I talk about the chapter that I'm reading or where I'm at in the book. Um, but I'm not going to do a whole review of the first book, even though it, or the first part. 
I will do that I think next Friday and I'm not sure when I'm done with it because this Friday I will not be done with it so I will have to do like a chapter review or something which is like talking about the chapter or one of my favorite chapters or whatever but I'll figure out what I'm gonna do and I guess that's it for now so um farewell to all you people and fairy folk and um I look forward to talking to you soon and it's such a fascinating deal right so um I'm excited for um uh, my book reads I had just gotten a also an interview thing sort of thing uh, they said that she's interested part time so I'm not like hoping yes Anyway, I'm excited about that, and then I'm going to try to apply for other stuff, but, you know, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, because, yeah. Oh, I, I'm actually going to be applying for, um, for C Tech positions, um, because I almost, I'm almost there getting my certification. I have to get my, take my test, and then I can be certified. Um... And it's not really that big or hard. But another thing is um, my hearing aid provider, I guess. I mean, I consider her my hearing aid provider. Because um, I do wear hearing aids, see? Um, so um, she has um, offered me a position for a part-time position. So I think that would really, I, I, I would take that definitely, I mean, for now, until I can get a full-time position somewhere else, and it would be really awesome that I would be working and stuff like that. So uh, I don't know how much money that is, like if that's enough money, so, but she said you can get insurance and stuff like that, so I'm hoping that she says yes. <laughs> so I, I'm going to go now. Because I'm just talking. Bye!